Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Elden Ring, shall we? Well, um, I don't know about you, but I tried that boss a few times, and what I've always learned about Souls games is basically what I do is I just try a boss, you know, and see how it goes, and if I feel like, oh, it's just a timing thing, and I can beat this boss then I keep going at it. But if I feel like I'm not strong enough, then what I would do is just go to a different level in Dark Souls. Um, but that isn't um, kind of what you do in this game. This game is wide open, so you can go wherever you want. And I'm going to just explore. I don't think I'm strong enough to beat that boss because I don't have enough hit points and my, my primary spell doesn't do enough. Um, and so because of that, I'm going to explore some other locations. I don't know if I can get more magic, per se, but I can definitely um, just level up and try to find some items, maybe, that would be helpful. All right, so here's a group of, uh, you know, things that I can just hit with magic. These are really just kind of like laborers, I don't know. I, I, you know, even hesitate to attack them, but they do look like they've overwhelmed this person with the wagon for, you know, unknown reasons. Glowstone. And we got magic grease, okay. So, right, I mean, magic grease, don't know what that does. But that's another thing. It could help me to beat that boss if I... You know, either had more flask charges, or uh, a stronger flask, or uh, some consumables that could boost my damage for my magic. Something like that. And there we go. Flasks refilled. So nice. Glass shard. Interesting. Ah, uh, up. Oh, what is up? The, uh, the Erd tree, I guess? Or do you mean just like the images is there a, an enemy that's up there I don't see anything okay and these guys had glass so I don't yet know what glass does but maybe it's a uh, something I can craft with you know I can make soft cotton now Temporarily reduces fall damage and sound. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wait, what's the other item I can make here? What is this? Oh, uh, no, 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 I don't want that. Okay. Um, alright, let's just, let's check it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, so I'm kind of coming up onto some new territory here. This Is this a... Oh, yeah. It looks like a very deep chasm into this pool. Now, there's something going on with tombstones jutting out. You know, I could make it to the second one with Torrent's double jump, but I don't know if... Um, oh, God. Oh, boy. Torrent is a little unwieldy, so... Yeah, you have to deal with that. I don't know if I could make it any higher, though, from the second one. So maybe not. Maybe let's just forget it. Oh, there's a big guy. Okay, so whenever I see the big guy, we just, you know, we go attack him because we can. He's generally not um, impossible. I can also summon. So I might as well just summon my wolves on him make it easier on myself. Drink a flask. And let's go. One. Oh, I'm not hitting him yet. I was a little too far away. He's upset. Okay. 
Okay, he's damaged my wolf a bit. But with the wolves out, I can just get him from far away. Now, that is another thing about that boss that I was not sure of, which is, can I um, summon more than once? I don't... My experience in the past has been that you can't do that. But it might very well be that I could have, and I wasn't paying attention, and then that would have helped me. Here's some nasty bugs. Just knock them out of the sky. Looks like a crocodile kind of dude over there. Oh, these are, these can be fun. Okay. I don't know if I'll ever be able to hit it if it's going to do that. There we go. No, that, oh boy. I missed. I'm sorry, turtle, I'm not actually even trying to hit you. Okay. Hi, right, this is getting annoying. Ah, that's bugs, though, for you, you know. All right, another one down. And let's just finish the other one. Oh, boy, what timing. Okay. And we got that one. I don't know how many there are that we need to get, but I like to just clear it out and explore the area. Okay, so let me ride my horse. This is kind of where I was looking at from the, the tombstone path from up above. What does this say? This says, uh, didn't expect beast and then group ahead. Okay. No friendship ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yes. There is a bunch of baddies over here. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, something. Oh, they're all fighting. They aren't friends. You're right. So the big bear and the wolves are kind of doing their thing. Be wary of dog and then <laughs> be wary of dog. Indeed. First off, gorgeous view. It is nice. It's a nice waterfall. All right. I can't summon here. Let's just kind of watch um, chaos ahead, indeed. Let's just kind of watch this happen and see who wins. I mean, I get, I get the souls or the runes when things die, so there's that. I don't want to upset big guy. He's doing a really good job of beating them all. I actually do want to upset big guy. Um, because he's going to be really, really hard to fight. But if he's fighting the wolves... Oh, fight the big guy. Don't fight me, you fool. Um, then maybe I have a chance. I don't know. Feels like it. Okay. I'm trying to target. There we go. Oh, I do nearly... Very, very little damage is what I do to this guy. I'm stuck on something, so I'm going to die. I was trying to roll several times in a row and couldn't get around whatever was on me. Yeah. So, go. Run as fast as you can. Let's try to use a flask and pretend like, you know, this will work. He's back there. Okay. And let's... We got one more of these. I don't even know if I have enough magic to kill this guy. Oh, oh, he had more range than I was 
really hoping for at all. Yeah. Okay. That was fun. Indeed. A strong foe. And so what you do in this game, all games, but what I do anyway in games like this is I just look for low-hanging fruit. I explore, I test, and that is not low-hanging fruit. That is crush me. Nightmare bear monster that looks like it's from the gunslinger uh, <laughs> series by Stephen King. Reminds me of that giant robotic bear in that series. Now the giants, I wonder how much experience, how many flat out runes they give you. Because they do respawn. They might have a good drop, you know, I don't know what it is, but uh, I could fight those, you know, again and again if I, if I really wanted to. By the way, it's worth mentioning that this area here is not um, a place where you can summon. So you can't... I couldn't summon wolves, for example. Alright, let's check out this guy's castle. Oh, there's a site of grace here. Well, we first definitely need to check out the third church of Marika. Behold, church, but still no god. Indeed. Isn't that the truth? Alright, what are we gonna what are these items? There's items on both. Behold friendship. Oh man, see this is why exploring is so good. So I just got a free sacred tier. Beautiful. Praise the precious item. Flask of wondrous physique. You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor Erd trees and elsewhere throughout the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two crystal tears in the Flask of Wondrous Physique. This will allow you to create elixirs with various custom effects. Cool. Alright. Well, that's amazing. See, I didn't even know this existed. Alright, let's, um, let's go here. And let's mix Wondrous Physique. With this menu, you can mix two crystal tears and a flask of wondrous physique. It'll allow you to create the things. Right, I only have one, unfortunately. Restores half of max HP. So I need to get some more crystal tears. Let's go to flasks. Let's increase the amount. And now our flasks are even better. So that right there could help significantly with the boss, right? Just by coming to this location that I didn't do before. I didn't have, even have to fight anything. And so kind of like my experience with the game Hollow Knight. Um, if it gets tough, it's open. Go explore someplace else. There's good stuff just lying around. Make your character stronger. There will be a point when rubber has to meet the road. And you are going to have to fight some bosses and get the timing down and all of that. And I, of course, will get to that. But... What I do is just try to stack the deck as much as I can in my favor. What is all this writing? Something incredible ahead. And then visions of giant. Oh, there's like a... What is this? It's pulling... What is this portal? Alright. this I'm sure this is fine. Travel to another location? Sure. This is looks totally safe. I don't see what the problem could be here. Gray Ol's Dragon Barrow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at that guy with the axe. That's... That doesn't look safe. Where am I on the map? Oh, I'm way over here. Holy smokes. This is a very large game indeed. All right, let's see if there's a Sight of Grace nearby or anything to pick up. Okay, not that I see. I don't even see the way out, by the way. Let's go in here and just kind of check it out. Here's a bestial sanctum. 
Oh, there's a bad guy up there. But there is a side of grace, so I can teleport away. And I can summon. So there's that. Oh, this is not a bad guy. This is a, a guy to talk to. Oh, he's all tied up. Or is that just a necklace? Uh, no, he doesn't really want to talk. Okay. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Hmm, I'm not going to attack that guy. So I'm well... If I look at this, I'm well to the kind of east of the map. The center east of the map, as at least as it unfolds for me now. And what does this say? Try stealth. Interesting. What? For this guy? What, if I sneak up on this guy? Is it going to help me in some fashion? I don't know. Let's see if I can get any other clues here. Item required ahead. Oh, okay. Alright, so he you need an item for that guy. Makes sense. Alright, so this is probably going to be us dying if I were to engage this giant. But let's just take a look here. You know, this is, like, I can see the, the air tree over there. And I could fight this guy. I could also just drop down over here. Um, stealth ahead. Okay, so you're going to need to, what, sneak around to get through this guy or to this rainy battlefield there's a bridge uh, although that looks like the tower the academy maybe wonder if I can make it interesting that would be a good place to go to get some spells I'll tell you that much I could also apparently drop down over here additionally Maybe I can just ride my horse. What happens if I'm over here? I can summon. And is there anything of note? Uh, this doesn't look like a door. It looks like just a... Yeah. Nah, that ain't good. Alright, so there's the... The mage tower, but we don't have... Yeah, we can't get to it from here. That was a pipe dream. Faded Airdly Flower. Oh, these are... This is some kind of new ingredient. Interesting. Um, wow, look at this writhing beast coming out of this relief sculpture. I don't know what that is supposed to... symbolize? It's... Quite breathtaking. All right, what are these guys? Looks bad. Oh, he's faster than my magic. Oh, much faster. Oh, it just killed me in one shot. Okay, that was interesting. Maybe that's why they said stealth required a hit. <laughs> he's like, I outrun your spell. Also, I kill you in one shot. Oh. All right, well, you know, this place is really far away from what I'm used to. So the enemies are probably much more challenging. I could summon my wolves and see if those would provide any kind of relief. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't hard to get. It's not. Fantastic. All right. So... Can I take one of these dudes down? What if I do summon wolves? I don't know. Right? 
and then target this guy and just try to shoot him. See if we can... Did we get it? I think we killed it. We got a bunch of stuff, so that's that's good. But boy, that enemy is tough. It was like... I didn't mean to kill the bird. I'm sorry, bird. Anything else? Uh, there's the big giant. I don't really want to fight that at the moment if I don't have to. Man, look at this wasteland. There's fungus, maybe? Good? Bad? Alright, I just have to leave my wolves behind as I kind of cycle around. Oh! I'm going to just ride by and try to get to this uh, seed. I don't know if I can make it or not. But it's totally worth it. Yeah, sweet. That guy did not see me. The wolves are here. Let's see if we can take down another one. Alright, and then we'll just kind of use this flask. Oh, this guy's on me. Get him, wolves. Yeah, 1,000 souls, or runes, for that guy. I mean, that's a really good payday. My wolves are getting beat up pretty significantly, but at the very least, we ended up getting uh, some more items for our flask. This might be a good place to grind levels for this character, actually, uh, because 1,000 is just so much. Can I see the... Oh, God. Look at the map now. Um, no, I don't even see where the Steli would be. Alright. Let's just ride fast. And look around. So there's some kind of, like, horrifying vegetation that has claimed this landscape. Fungal infection. Most foul. Okay, sure. Yeah, I see it. Oh, there's something over here, though. What's this? Starlight shards. Okay. I mean, that seems good. I like starlight. Let's just see if we can find one more side of grace over here to expand our network of teleports a little bit. Bad guy down there. Uh, I don't see anything immediately. There's three of them over there. That's terrifying. Let's just drop down. And check the back wall here. Make sure there's no doorway. There is not. And periodically just pushing the targeting button to make sure that no one really sneaks up on me. Like that guy is over there. I see him. Or her. Okay. Uh, that appears to be a dragon on that bridge. Yeah, that's a, that's a slight problem. We will not be approaching that bridge, then. Just getting these materials. Okay. Oh, there's the... There it is right there. That's what I was hoping for. All right, let me just make sure there's nobody around. I'm going to take the, the gentler path to get there. Okay, great. It's just a bunch of these, like, statues with people or... 
like demons entombed inside them. I can't pretend to understand, but I am going to get off my horse and just touch this grace. And we're going to rest. And I'm going to add a flask charge. Perfect. All right, so it took two seeds that time, but we did it. Um, allocate flask charges. Actually, that's okay. Um, and then level up. If I level up my intelligence, it still doesn't really help me um, with my attack too much right now. So I'm going to just gently boost my hit points uh, to try and make my life a little bit easier against bosses if possible what's to say if only I had an enemy <laughs> no underground tomb ahead okay alright I don't know what that would refer to... I'm kind of out of my depth with this area, but it's cool. It's definitely a cool spot. Alright, so let me see how many... Um, yeah, see, Coats Armament inflicting magic damage. That's interesting. I have uh, nine of these. Alright, let me look at that. Let me see what... I got some other items, though. I picked up... Uh, No, I guess it wasn't for this. Well, this is better than what I have. Interesting. Um, use this to gradually recover... FP is what the Starlight Shards does. Oh, that's kind of cool. I see. Alright. Um, I'm going to use... Uh, I have 1,800. Let's just use six of them. And this should be enough to uh, level up again. I'd love to memorize a new spell. I don't have it but I will level up. And uh, this no longer gives me 20 hit points. This would give me 19. Um, wait, let me do math right. 21, which is actually even better, and increases my defense. So I am going to boost up my, my health just a bit. Try to make myself uh, have time to use potions, not get one shot, that kind of stuff. And let's see if we can, you know, what our prospects would be if, if I did try to uh, fight these guys. Okay, so I can kill it on its own and get a thousand. I don't know if they ever drop anything, but that's a really tremendous payout for... Uh, leveling myself up, or at least trying to. So this is a kind of a, an interesting place to consider grinding a bit, if I needed to. Time for joy. Okay. Try critical hit. Um, I don't know what that means. But I am getting a lot of these faded flowers. Alright, there's this guy. Let me just use my flask. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight, nine. Takes nine to take one of those guys down. Part of my problem is my stamina is just not 
very high. It actually needs to be higher so that I can just continuously cast a spell. But that'll do it. Now, I don't know if these guys will ever drop anything. Um, but that would be sweet if they did. I bet they have good stuff. What is this? Gosh, it's so weird looking. I hear the, the chimes. I hear like a dinging. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Animals. Oh, that's not an animal. I mean, it might be. Okay. Another one gone. Hmm. Interesting spot. Edge of the earth. I don't really see anything great over here. Okay. Uh, what are these materials? Oh, toxic mushroom. New. Well, we found those. I'm just exploring at this point. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, honestly, this is just a great place. How many charges do I have left on my flask? I have uh, one more. So I could take out one more guy and see what how much I can level up. I kind of want to have more than one level because I really want to check my intelligence boost. Here we go. Oh, he actually did drop something. What does he drop? Vulgar Militia Gauntlets. Cool. Maybe if I could get like a full set of this guy's armor, wouldn't that be fantastic? If I could get their armor? All right. Well, anyway. Right back. Yeah, I'm going to get off. And um, let me see myself really fast. To level up, I need... Uh, I don't know if I have enough, but let me go in my equipment. Foot soldier gauntlets um, are b better by pretty much all counts than these gauntlets. These are lighter, you know, like if I really wanted to go light. But uh, let me check this new helmet, though. This would not mess with my um, load, but it it does decrease some of my immunity and magic resist. But we could try it out. Just get a little bit extra physical. Let's rest. And we're going to level up. And I'm going to check out what two intelligence would get me. Oh, I can't do it twice. Okay. Then I'm going to go into my inventory and I'm going to use uh, a couple of these. I'm going to use one, actually. And then uh, rest and just see what this is like to level up to twice. Okay. Right. So if I do put two more points in intelligence... Um, it will take me to 
raise my attack power with my armament and give me some resists, but I'm um, canceling level up, yes. I want to go see just something really fast. Uh, yeah, this guy will do. So, let's just see how much damage I'm doing. I am doing 157 about with each attack. Or 119 if I'm facing him like that. And he's running at me. So, 157 on the first attack. And let me just see what happens in terms of if my damage goes up. I'm going to level up. And now I'm going to see what it's like with a little bit more intelligence. 162. So my damage went up by 5. And I was able to kill them in one fewer shot. Oh, we got the Vulgar Militia Saw and some Gauntlets. So he dropped two items. So right there, it really just emphasizes the power of intelligence for this character. Hit points, stamina, these things are also really important, of course. Um, but for now, I feel like, you know, intelligence is the way that I, I should be going. Uh, if I kill one more guy, I'm already there. Oh, he had some magic on him. That was interesting. It's a little risky to uh, let these guys survive. Alright, so we did 162. And let me just see what happens with one more point in intelligence. Alright, I'm going to level up. Intelligence one more time. Alright. You shouldn't need much more than like, I'm just guessing, something like 35 for all the spells in the game. Uh, maybe 40, but, you know, I don't know. Alright, let's see what's going on here. 164, yep. So I basically get about 2 or 3 damage. Um her intelligence point with this current weapon and its scaling. Now if I look at my equipment, if I look at this, it's only plus two. So I could pump this up to plus three if I get enough uh, smithing stones. So it might be worthwhile to figure out, you know, where do I find uh, smithing stones? Actually, I have a bunch. How many is it going to take me to take this up the next time. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, um, what I'm going to do is uh, end the episode here, and then what we'll do is go check out the smith, and I'm going to explore more before I decide to grind uh, too hard right here. This is a fantastic grinding spot, by the way. I always love doing this in Souls games, which is finding a place uh, to grind effectively, and right now, a thousand runes uh, per kill with very, very little impact uh, or risk is... And it's easy to get to is beautiful. So this is a delicious find. And we'll get into this next time. Everyone, thanks for watching. Take care.